From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Parliament now heading into its busiest stretch of the fiscal year. Debate on the budget for the upcoming fiscal year is underway in the House. The process takes about three weeks to get through Parliament and make it to the Governor General's desk for signature. A strong shantytown claim being made by Works Minister, Deputy Prime Minister Bannister. Throughout this country, there is an organized effort, a really organized effort, to build these shanty towns. This is not coincidental. It's highly organized. You can see by what, what happened when these children were put in the front of cameras on the weekend. And these people are being coached and they're being taught how to evade the laws of the Bahamas. The ministry not backing off on the demolition of what it considers illegal structures constructed on the farm shanty town in Abaco. 23 demolished last week. Another 20 or so could be knocked down this week. There's still no ruling from the Supreme Court on that overall shantytown challenge. Immigration Minister Johnson calling out shantytown residents for using children to demonstrate in Abaco during that recent United Nations visit. He called that deplorable. Writes Bahamas calling his comments intolerable. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police have identified the latest murder victim. He's 41-year-old Cohen Lightburn. His body found in a car in Dundastown, Abaco, Tuesday morning. He had gunshot wounds. Police said the victim was known to them. He had been previously convicted on a manslaughter charge. No life-threatening injuries involved in that ferry boat grounding in the area of Manowar Key in Abaco. About a dozen persons suffered bumps and bruises, according to officials. A drop in confirmed coronavirus cases for Monday, a total of 15 for the country, eight in the capital. Both Andros and Cat Island reported cases also. They remain in lockdown through the upcoming Labor Day holiday weekend. No other deaths reported by health officials, but the hospital numbers are still concerning. 52 persons still in, five of them in the ICU. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. There is still unsettled weather in the area, mostly cloudy again tonight. Showers around, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 74 at Freeport, 76 in the capital, 76 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories overnight. Winds settling at 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. The next time is to low around 9 this evening. Thursday's forecast, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-80s, maybe a passing shower still in the area. No systems in the tropics. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, officials believe that an environmental disaster off the coast of Sri Lanka is now inevitable. That cargo ship, which has been burning in the area for 13 days, about to sink, spilling thousands of gallons of oil into the ocean. Another move to control the spread of the coronavirus. Seven European nations have now agreed to introduce what is called vaccination certificates. Maybe even more evidence of climate change. The Amazon River in Brazil has risen to record high levels. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. You can find some stuff on TV tonight, including soccer and Major League Baseball. Jazz on the Marlins against the Toronto Blue Jays again today. He was 0 for 4 in his return to the lineup last night. The NBA playoffs continue tonight. DeAndre on the Suns waiting for Game 6 against the Lakers, leading 3-2 in the series. NBA action tonight, four games, five. Washington at Philadelphia, Atlanta and the Knicks, Memphis and Utah, Dallas and the Clippers all play tonight. John Quill Jones on the Sun off tonight after winning last night. Next up, New York on Saturday. There's tennis on TV also, more of the French Open. 
All of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 